A safety administration conducted crash test of child booster seats for cars. So listed below are the results from those tests with the measurements given in HIC. Very interesting. Uh, standard head injury condition units. So the safety requirement is that the HIC measurement should be less than a thousand. So if it's less than a thousand, then apparently the booster seat for the kid is safe. If it's not less than a thousand, that's bad. Use a 0.01 significance level. So that's our alpha. to test the claim that this sample is from a population with mean less than 1,000 HIC. Then it says, do the results suggest that all of the child booster seats meet the specified requirement? Well, right away you see that one of these booster seats has a HIC of over 1,000, so that's pretty bad, right? I mean, we took six and one of them is over 1,000. That's, that's not good. All right, so they're not giving us the population standard deviation in this problem. They're just giving us numbers, so we're going to use T in this problem. Remember, when you're doing a confidence interval for the mean, if they give you the population standard deviation, you use Z. It's very rare. Um, if they don't, you use T. So we're pretty much always going to always going to be using T for these. So let's go ahead and go through the the five steps of a hypothesis test, and then we'll answer the homework question. So you have H sub zero and H sub one. All right, so it's mu, right? Mu. And let's see, mean less than 1,000, so less than 1,000. It's mu because we're talking about a population mean. Then here it's mu, and it's always equals here, no matter what. Every single time, it's always equals. So it looks like that's one of the choices. That's going to be choice C, okay? So check answer. Yay, nice work. Identify the test statistic. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So the next two steps are done entirely in StockCrunch. So we're going to click this little box here and click Open in StackCrunch. And then we go to Stat, T, one sample, and then we're going to use with data. And this is because we have the data. So with data, then we select the data in var1. That's the name of the column. And it looks like we have to enter 1,000 here so that it matches, so 1,000 and it's less than, so it looks okay. Everything looks good, then we click Compute. Boom, there it is, there's our test statistic. That's the T stat, and there's our P value. So let's go ahead and write those down. So our test statistic is T equals negative 2.76, and the P value for us in this problem is 0 0.0199. Okay. In step four, we have to decide whether to reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. If the p-value is smaller than alpha, we reject. If it's bigger, we fail to reject. In this case, the p-value is slightly bigger, so it's still bigger, so we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Now let's go ahead and do our interpretation. So to do the interpretation, uh, we always start by mentioning the level of significance. In this case, it's 0.01, so we would start by saying at the 1% level of significance. Okay, let me pause here. So now we have to decide if there is or there is not sufficient evidence to support H1. So if you reject H sub zero, then you don't want it. So there is evidence to support H1. We fail to reject, so there is not sufficient evidence. So reject, there is, fail to reject, there is not sufficient evidence to support H1. So if you reject HO, there is enough evidence to support H1. We fail to reject, so there is not enough evidence. So there is not, there is not sufficient evidence to support H1. I'll just say to claim that H1 is true, so that the mean is less than 1,000 HIC. Um, let's go back to the problem, see if we can just get it from the problem. Um, yep, that the sample is from a population with the mean less than 1,000 HIC. I'll write that down, that the sample is from a population with a mean less than 1,000 HIC. 
All right, let's go ahead and finish this. We have our test statistic. It wants three decimals. I think the third decimal was zero. I don't remember. Um, I must, I mean, let's try it, negative 2.76. If it's wrong, I'll just do it again. Yeah, it's right, okay, good. And the p-value uh, wants four decimals, so we're good there. So 0 0.0199, good. And let's see, so we ended up failing to reject and we said there was not sufficient evidence to support the claim that the sample is from a population with a mean less than 1,000 hicks. So insufficient, that's the word they used. We said not sufficient. Okay. What do the results suggest about the child booster seats meeting the specified requirements? Well, um, as we mentioned at the beginning of the problem, one seat is really, really bad. But uh, we, we, we basically don't have enough evidence to say that the mean is less than 1,000, right? So um, I would say... Um, there is not strong evidence that the mean is less than 1,000, right? And one of the booster seats has a measurement that is greater than 1,000. So it should, be, it should be this one. Let's try it. Yep. And that's it. I hope that has helped.